Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're going to talk about solar power, and we're going to talk about a really cool charge controller that I've never seen before. There was a company called Bacteria Power that reached out to me and said that they had an inline, very compact MPPT solar charge controller that goes from the solar panel using MC4 connectors directly to the battery. So there was no need to mount anything on a wall or anything like this, it's in line. I said absolutely, so they sent this out. This is what it looks like. It is called the Bacteria Power MPPT Solar Charge Controller Sunrock 10M. So I wanna say thank you to Bacteria Power for sending this out for review. I think this is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Let's take a closer look. I'm really excited to share this with you. So here's a look at the packaging. And right there, MPPT Solar Charge Controller Sunrock 10M. Bacteria Power, made in China. I'm just really excited about this. I think this is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Right here on the back of the package, you can see some information, and it says maximum photovoltaic voltage, no more than 30 volts open circuit. So that's pretty cool. Maximum photovoltaic working voltage, 20 VP, VMP. Battery types, gel, AGM, or lithium iron phosphate. I thought that was cool. 12 volt voltage, it's plug and play, high security, mini and portable, and designed for 12 volt batteries, 100% efficiency MPP charging. There is the website and also contact information for them. Let's go ahead and open this up. I am so excited. So the first thing that we see is the user manual. And I'm going to take a little bit of time and, and show you this. this. There's a lot of good information here on this user manual. So if you want to pause your screen at any moment, feel free to do so. There's your, that's what's included. So you get everything that you see there is in this box. And here is a product overview. The one on top, that Sunrock 10M, that's the one that we are looking at today. Now they do make a bigger one, the 20M. It's a little bit larger and it'll do 12 or 24 volts and it's got a little bit more stuff that it can handle. Very cool, so you got MC4 connectors there and the SAE connector there on the bottom. Very cool, product description. Main features, so again, pause button might be your friend here. I think this is fantastic. I'm so excited about this. And then again, there's the technical support for Bacteria Power. And then on the other side, here is some, if I can get my thumb out of the way, here is some specifications of the unit. Again, we are in that first column, Sunrock 10M. So those are all the specs for, for the one that we're looking at today. 12 volt is your system voltage. It'll work on all those different batteries. Maximum solar input voltage, no more than 30 volt open circuit. And maximum solar input up to 150 watts. That is absolutely fantastic. There's the dimensions. Right here is your installation guide. So it shows the solar panel connected to the MC4s and those SAEs are connected and go straight to the battery. Now right here, make sure you pay attention to that. Connect to the battery first and then the solar panels. That's normal on almost every charge controller out there. Make sure that you do it in order, otherwise you could damage the charge controller and we don't want to do that. So product instructions. 
very cool how you can cycle through the menu there here's a look at the indicators and right there that's a pretty cool little chart to look at whatever your state of charge is key operation I mean this thing is really cool battery type setting and again it'll run gel AGM or lithium iron phosphates that is so cool out of such a small portable unit very cool you can change your voltages different battery types and those are all the voltages that each battery type will utilize right there is some warning and cautions just super cool and then of course you have different error codes that you could run into and that's what each of those error codes are now looking in the package I can see there are four little screws here in this bag. Pretty cool that they include that. You can mount this if you wish. So there is the SAE cable that you can use to connect to the battery if you want. And then the last thing in the box is the unit itself. Now this unit, just right out of the box, it feels solid. It's got some heft to it that's what it looks like and then right here it says input and then right here it says output so you got your MC4's already you got your positive that goes here and your negative that goes there and then again you got your SAE negative here and your positive right there I mean this is just really cool you got those four little screw holes so that if you want to mount this you can and then on the back you have all of this information right here I'm just really excited about this unit and I can't wait to hook this up to a solar panel and connect it to a battery and see how it works so what I'd like to do now is take these alligator clips and I'm gonna connect these to the unit this will give me a quick connection to my battery so right here on this SAE, if I set all this aside and we look at the connection here, look at the color coding of the wires. So we have the positive here, right there, but if we line it up, look, the positive turns into a negative and the negative turns into a positive. So we want to make sure that we're getting the polarity correct. And to do that, I have this little adapter. What this little adapter does is it helps you keep the polarity correct so we'll put that on just like that so now remember the negative is on the top look at that when you plug that in now look the negative is on the top here and the same as that so now I have this unit where I can use these really nice metal alligator clips look at let's pull this off take a look at how nice those are I can connect this to the battery now very easily just connect it to the post and then I'll connect my MC4s and it's going to be a nice, easy, simple connection to get this battery charged. Now this button right here we can use to change the parameters of what battery type. So what we'll do is we'll hold this button down and you can see that it starts to flash. And then we can single press and select through gel. We can go to AGM or we can go to lithium and as you can see the backlit turns on and then once we get to the selected battery type that we want so in our case lithium iron phosphate we're just gonna press and hold this until that light goes solid so now this charge controller is set for lithium iron phosphate batteries and of course you can see the four different LEDs up here 25, 50, 75 and 100 percent uh, of the battery capacity so this is a really nice little charge controller so you're looking at this and you can see that there is no MC4 connectors connected these wires follow them right up here and then they go directly to this battery so I'm using this charge controller currently 
as a battery gauge to see the status of my lithium iron phosphate battery. Now off of that battery, you can see these white wires, which this might be a little bit confusing, but these are going to this little power inverter. This power inverter has a cord coming off and that's running this light here. And it also has another cord going off to this power strip right here. I'm sorry for the mess on my bench here, but it's feeding that power strip. And that power strip is, is controlling this overhead light. This solar panel here is a little 25 watt monocrystalline. It's not even hooked up. So what I like to do is just run this system. I'm using it currently to, to run my camera. And when the battery starts to get a little bit low to the point where it needs to be charged, then I just hook up a 100 watt monocrystalline or polycrystalline solar panel and it will start charging. You can see the battery voltage. If I push this, if the backlit comes on, my battery is currently at 12.4 volts. So you can use pretty much any size solar panel up to about 150 watts. Don't go past that. So if you got like a little 50 or even something small like this little 25, a 50, or even in our case today, we're going to use a 100 you can use that with this uh, charge controller. So right now, after quite a bit of use, you can see that my battery has dropped down to 11 and a half volts. It's down to 25%, so it's definitely time to get this thing on charge. Let's get that solar panel out. Let me show you how simple this is to hook up and get going. Here is a 100 watt monocrystalline solar panel. I'm going to just set this right here. First thing is first, we want to connect the charge controller to the battery first. So I'm going to just use these little alligator clips that I have. I've got my battery sitting here. Plug that one in, plug that one in. And once this charge controller comes alive with the voltage, now I can plug in my MC4 connectors. You cannot plug these in incorrectly. They only go one way, so it's very easy. Now I'll put this solar panel in the sun. I'll look up and kind of gauge where the sun is. Set that right there. I know it looks kind of crude, but that's what we're going to be doing. And you can definitely see on the charge controller that it's working. 11.2 volts, that's what my battery is. And I'm bringing in 5.7 amps right now. That's fantastic. So right now you can see an error code of E01 and I looked that up in the manual and it says that the battery was over discharged. But when I push the button, you can see that my battery voltage has climbed 115116 11, and I'm bringing in 5.3 amps. That is absolutely fantastic. Very good performance out of this little Bateria Power MPPT charge controller. I like it. Very cool. 5.3 amps. So just to reiterate, there is our error code E01 over discharge. No problem because now we're charging that battery. So charging is going very good, 11.8 volts at 5.1 amps of input. So right here we're looking at the solar panel that I'm using. I'm using this little EcoWorthy 100 watt solar panel and the maximum current that this panel can produce is 5.55 amps. So earlier when I saw 5.3 amps coming in, that is absolutely fantastic. So very good performance of the solar panel and also the Bateria Power MPPT charge controller. Everything's working very good right now. So that is excellent performance considering this panel is just sitting on the ground. Now a second ago I was kind of playing with different angles and I can watch the amperage go up and down and that charge controller uh, tells you the amperage in real time. So it went down to 4.1 went up to 5.2 and just by changing the angle of the panel. 
so everything is working good I'm very happy with this product so far so in a short amount of time I'm already up to 12 volts and I'm still bringing in 4.9 amps of current it just keeps climbing doing well when I push here and I see this temperature I like that it has it in Fahrenheit and that is the temperature of this device itself very cool so this thing's just plugging along 4.5 amps my battery's up to 13 volts and if we look at the temperature of the unit it's at 120 degrees that's the temperature of this uh, unit and then the error code is zero meaning there's no errors so the E01 that we had earlier has cleared itself up automatically this thing is working very good as you can see that last indicator is still flashing but we have climbed up and it hasn't been out here that long this is an impressive little unit very effective so you're probably wondering what my final thoughts are on this bacteria power MPPT inline charge controller I'm impressed this thing works very good I'm I'm just blown away that in a short amount of time we saw the battery climb up that little hundred watt panel is perfect for something like this they do offer larger models like I mentioned earlier and if you're interested in this charge controller I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find it I want to say thank you guys for watching me today on this video I hope you enjoyed it hope that you got some good useful information out of it please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video share this video and until next time thank you so much for watching I hope you have a beautiful day we'll see you on the next one bye for now everybody